So I want to give it a quick um, overview on how to replace the battery on a double one robot. Um, as you can see there, um, this is the correct side to have the robot laying in if you want to access the battery. And what you want to do is get a suction cup tool like this off Amazon or eBay. I think they're like 10 or $15. And essentially, you just need to break the suction from some of the adhesive strips in the back of the plate. Let's do it slowly so you don't break the cover here. You'll see once you take the cover off, you've got some screws that need to be removed. So, got a hex bit tool there, just find the right size. And take all the four those out. And you'll see the gears that actually make the robot run here. We want to check these sometimes get cracked. Um, if you bought a used unit, sometimes these can be cracked. So you just want to make sure there aren't any cracks. This one looks pretty good. Um, and then what you want to do is replace, or sorry, remove these two screws on the bottom. Same hex as you were using to remove the hubcap. And then you've got some other bolts that need to be removed here as well too with an Allen wrench. If I can find the right one here. Go ahead and remove those Allen screw, Allen bolts, or whatever they're called. stuck in here pretty good depending on this battery compartment has ever been accessed before. <laughs> Typically with these, from what I've seen, if you maintain the battery correctly, you can usually probably get, I don't know, five or six years out of a battery. Um, and maintenance would be just making sure that you don't ever let the battery run below a certain critical level. Because um, if it gets below that level, there's a safety piece that is triggered on the battery so that you're not able to actually recharge it. And these use lithium ion batteries. They're custom built uh, lithium ion batteries from Inspired Energy in Florida. I know a lot of times what I like to do to get this undone is just put a knife under there to kind of just get this started, just to kind of push it up a little bit so you can get a full screwdriver under there and kind of go around the sides. You kind of loosen this plate from the robot. I think we're loose enough there. And then you'll see there's the actual battery unit there. This is the part that actually connects um, the battery to power here. Um, and what you do to actually remove on this double one, um, what you do to remove the battery is take these screws off and then the battery itself will just come right off and you just put a new one um, right in its place so you can kind of see the inside of the robot there as well too so hopefully that was helpful i might make a couple more videos that people think uh, this is useful but this is how you replace a battery on a double one robot